we are going to solve some quiz from API Scythe source inspector fix equipment. So if you register with us, uh, you can study our first and second model and also uh, try our free quiz here. If you click, I'm going to discussion in this free quiz. Old working is plastic deformation below the recrystallization temperature. So always remember, cold work is always below the recrystallization temperature. Simple as that. Hot working is plastic deformation above the recrystallization temperature. Right? So that's the main difference between cold work and hot work. Maximum allowable working pressure is the maximum pre gauge pressure at the top of the pressure vessel. The reason is that that's the most onerous one, not accounting for a static head. So if the gauge yeah, is at the top showing some numbers, the pressure at the bottom would be uh, more than that you account for of the liquid. Magnesium symbol is Mg. Now this might look like an easy question, but uh, you need to know the uh, material test reports. You need to look at it and you should know what each symbol of the material there means. B, manganese is, symbol is Mn. Carbon is C. For example, iron is Fe. MPS stands for nominal pipe size. You can see it says permitted size, pipe association, pipe standard. It stands for nominal pipe size, not the actual pipe, but the nominal, very close to it. So you should know the very basics of the terms and definitions. Maximum permitted quality tolerance of a pressure vessel d max minus d min anymore shall not exceed one percent of the nominal diameter of the vessel this is according to uh, pressure vessel construction code as in section 8 qg 80 qualification is a combination of all the following except commitment now remember qualification it needs a skill, it needs experience, it needs knowledge, it needs training. Um, but commitment is something personal and it's nothing to do with the qualification. The process of monitoring or observing the inspection activities is associated with the materials, equipment and or component component for adherence to the specific procedure, product specification, code or standard specified in the contract, uh, contractual requirement is called quality surveillance. So quality surveillance means you need to monitor and observe the inspection activities to do what? To make sure that it's been built according to the purchase of the, the contract and the associated specification. Root mean score is a measure of surface finish. So you should need for RMS. What does it mean? Yeah. Documents filled out by the SI source in inspector indicating concerns or other factual description of what was noticed during the course of product surveillance, but not necessarily issues that may be considered defects or requiring NCRs is called supplier observation report. So it's not an NCR, but it could turn it into an NCR if it was not addressed by the vendor. It's intended to flag off the issues and problems 
and may lead to an NCR if not resolved. Now well, it is Supplier Observation Report or SOR. It gives the uh, vendor a chance to explain and correct an issue. Document that contains the requirements and acceptance criteria for the manufacturing and fabrication of specific types of equipment and component is called specification. Now here, uh, obviously, codes and standards also shows the acceptance criteria, but that is a general requirement specification is then you're doing for a specific equipment and within the project. We heating a hardened metal to a temperature below the transformation range to improve toughness is called tempering. Now sintering and sensitizing is actually hardening of the metal surface. Heat treatment can increase the toughness, but actually the main primary purpose is to relieve stress. It's not aimed at increasing the toughness, although one of these byproducts could be an increased toughness because of relieving stress or increasing the ductility, but always choose the best answer. Also, you can flag up the question here. And so, like uh, API exam, and we have progressed. There is a progress bar here. And we have also timed our mock exam question. VDDR stands for Vendor Document and Drawing Requirement. You know, there might be other terms used in project spec, but you should remember these, such as VDRL, Vendor Document Requirement List. This is the standard term used by the API. Authorized inspectors approval is required prior to release. Now, if you do after the release or during the release, it really doesn't mean anything. It should uh, because once it's released, what's the point of uh, approve something once it's released? So it's always prior. Each inspection report should be reviewed for all the following except the inspection report for the content, for the completeness, for the technical clarity. Now, progress reports is the least uh, issue that is normally considered by the inspector because progress is um, followed by the expediter and there is always a conflict of interest when you assign an inspector to do quality check as well as to expedite or move things around. Ultimate risk associated for each equipment item is probability of failure multiplied by consequence of failure. So you should know that it's it's a multiplication, simple multiplication. No division, no addition, nothing. If any conflict should arise during the inspection activity, the source inspector should notify his her supervisor for resolution as soon as possible. Uh, you have to observe a uh, hierarchy here. Uh, don't argue with the vendor. Don't directly go to the client um, or go to sub vendor for that case. Uh, talk to your supervisor and see what is the next course of action. Later edition of industry codes and standards does not apply if the contract or purchase order has specified an earlier edition of a, a specific standard. So because uh, that's what has been agreed, you cannot change it unless you change the purchase order. Order of precedence is always the purchase order has got the highest order of precedence here. When project documents should have been reviewed, approved by the purchaser. So, purchaser has the final authority to say how is it going to be built. Okay. So, you can type in your email and then uh, the results shall also be sent to your email 
and you can also study our first and second module for free. Thank you for listening.